Before you watch the video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. 46 Bible Verses About Money Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 Dishonest money dwindles away, but whoever gathers money little by little makes it grow. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 11 Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 9 Do not wear yourself out to get rich, do not trust your own cleverness. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 4 The blessing of the Lord brings wealth, without painful toil for it. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 Whoever loves money never has enough, whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. This too is meaningless. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 10 Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9 Better a little with the fear of the Lord than great wealth with turmoil. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 16 then he said to them, watch out. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. Luke chapter 12 verse 15. Give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. Romans chapter 13 verse 7. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Matthew chapter 6 verse 21 But who am I, and who are my people, that we should be able to give as generously as this? Everything comes from you, and we have given you only what comes from your hand. 1 Chronicles chapter 29 verse 14 How much better to get wisdom than gold, to get insight rather than silver. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 16 Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 17. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things, I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Matthew chapter 25 verse 21. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Proverbs chapter 30 verse 8. What a person desires is unfailing love, better to be poor than a liar. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 22. Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked, for the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. Psalm chapter 37 verses 16 to 17. A good name is more desirable than great riches, to be esteemed as better than silver or gold. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 1. Cast but a glance at riches, and they are gone, for they will surely sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 5. Ill-gotten treasures have no lasting value, but righteousness delivers from death. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 2. Wealth is worthless in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 4. This is also why you pay taxes, for the authorities are God's servants, who give their full time to governing. Romans chapter 13 verse 6. I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. Psalm chapter 119 verse 14. The wealth of the rich is their fortified city, they imagine it a wall too high to scale. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 11. Suppose one of you wants to build a tower. Won't you first sit down and estimate the cost to see if you have enough money to complete it? Luke chapter 14 verse 28. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10. For the Lord your God will bless you as he has promised, 
and you will lend to many nations but will borrow from none. You will rule over many nations but none will rule over you. Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 6. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Philippians chapter 4 verse 12. Houses and wealth are inherited from parents, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 14. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? 1 John chapter 3 verse 17. Moreover, when God gives someone wealth and possessions, and the ability to enjoy them, to accept their lot and be happy in their toil, this is a gift of God. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 19. Wealth and honor come from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. 1 Chronicles chapter 29 verse 12. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous give generously. Psalm chapter 37 verse 21. Better a little with righteousness than much gain with injustice. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 8. The rich rule over the poor, and the borrower is slave to the lender. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 7. The Lord sends poverty and wealth, he humbles and he exalts. 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 7. Sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, poor, yet making many rich, having nothing, and yet possessing everything. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 10. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before. Job chapter 42 verse 10. A person's riches may ransom their life, but the poor cannot respond to threatening rebukes. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 8. As goods increase, so do those who consume them. And what benefit are they to the owners except to feast their eyes on them? Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 11. Do not make any gods to be alongside me. Do not make for yourselves gods of silver or gods of gold. Exodus chapter 20 verse 23. The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful. Matthew chapter 13 verse 22. Believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position. But the rich should take pride in their humiliation, since they will pass away like a wildflower. James chapter 1 verses 9 to 10. Then Peter said, Ananias, how is it that Satan has so filled your heart that you have lied to the Holy Spirit and have kept for yourself some of the money you received for the land? Didn't it belong to you before it was sold? And after it was sold, wasn't the money at your disposal? What made you think of doing such a thing? You have not lied just to human beings but to God. Acts chapter 5 verses 3 to 4. Thanks for watching. This is Life and Faith in Jesus Christ the Lord. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and press the notification bell for more videos. Thank you.